Welcome Seekers, my name is Scott Austin and this is my story and my project. And today, I am opening this. So, I cannot afford art subscription boxes. It's expensive and monthly and the same. But, there was a specific scroller box that I really wanted because it focused on a graffiti artist. And so, I am excited to finally open it. I believe it was from May, but I bought it later on because I knew it was in the box. So it wasn't a surprise, so I, I I actually know what's in here, but I thought I'm going to open it anyway, and if you guys want to check out what's in this box, stick around. Let's do it. Alright, let's get into it. Chua! Alright. Tape one. Tape two. I missed two. Yeah. Oh, golly. I 10 out of 10 recommend this company, by the way. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. All righty. Oh, it's mint. It's a Walker mint. I'm actually really excited about that. I'm going to need that right now. Oh, un undoing the, the velvet tape. Uh, oh. This is the worst unboxing video ever. Oh golly, okay. Yes, this is the sticker that comes in every single one. So like people who do a lot of them just collect a whole row of them. It's awesome. Um, yeah, so that's cool. This is my little diagram that tells me everything I got. Oh golly, okay. Then you got this really nice classic eraser. Let's see, what, is, what does it say? Great combination of design and functionality. These million erasers have a unique vintage style. Blah, 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 blah. Eraser won't dry out. Cool. We got a classic pencil. I don't think there's anything exciting about it other than it's the same brand. But maybe I'm, I'm wrong. Let's see. Again, high quality. This is a great pencil for lightly sketching out your work before adding line or color work. Yeah. And it's breaking resistant. But basically, they include a pencil because you need one. Alrighty, now we're getting to the exciting stuff. Oh, we have the Pilot Pintor. And that sound? That's the sound because it's a paint pen. Which is the exciting part. I wanted to try paint pens forever. Let's see what it says about it. So in general, these are all like the same brand. But it's like four different colors. And then these two are fat ones. Fat markers. But, as you can see here... Painter in Spanish. Perfect addition to any creative toolbox. Water-based paint marker, which is suitable for use on all services. Uh, which shows if it's permanent or not permanent. If it's on plastic, glass, or metal, it could come off. Yep, yep. Remove the packaging by twisting the cap, then shake about 20 times. Prime the tip by pressing down several times onto a scrap paper until the ink appears. The tip material is very strong and durable, and the paint is quick drying. Yeah. All right. Man, this is so exciting. I'm so glad they included this, because otherwise I would for totally forget. And then, last really, we have this really nice ink pen. Let's see. Is there, is there a secret to opening this? Oh. That, that was a problem. Whoa. Probably should have read what was on that. Probably. Ooh. <sighs> sticky. It's so sticky. It's not coming off. Oh, golly. This is another one, but it's different. But it, you can hear that sound still. And then you prime it by pressing the tip, so we'll have to figure that out. But, but is it say anything really special about that? Exciting. So this one's alcohol based, not water based paint marker. High gloss mirror to fix. A metallic Anderson's to your artwork. This is not just another silver marker. True chrome finish that we know you'll love. Okay, so it's silver. I probably should have been able to guess that from the silver. Yeah, okay. Anyway. So all of the exciting markers, and now you can see clearly why I bought this, just for these. 
but there's more. Yeah. Look at this. So the, they choose to feature an artist every single month. And this one is this guy. Can't remember. To see in the back? Yeah. See Michael. Um so yeah, this is what it what it says about him. And I looked up a bunch of his stuff and it's super cool. Um so yeah. If you have any wall or type of drawing that needs drawing, contact him. So yeah, it's super cool and I'm really excited about this piece. Like, I, it wasn't just a bonus, like, I'm gonna hang this on my wall with all my other cool artwork done by other people. Oh, it got bent. It's sad, but it's super legit. So yeah, every month, they do it based around an artist, so like, this month was based around him, and therefore, because he does graffiti, it was graffiti markers and some more type. And then this is the paper that they include for you to try things out. Alright, but that's it for that tiny box. Was all of this. Oh, I just can't see anything. Epic pan. And the awesome artwork. So, anyway. Guess what's next? Is to eat them in and test out these markers. It's so weird that it's white at the tip. I have garbage all over after this. Alright. Let's read the instructions since I've never used these before. Alright. Shake about 20 times before use with the cap on. Prime the tip by pressing 3 to 4 times on paper until the ink flows. If the ink flow weakens, repeat the steps 1 and 2. Always replace the cap after use. Don't store with the tip pointing down. Huh, that's good to know. I guess that makes sense. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-ish. Probably good. All right. How many times am I supposed to push it down? Three to four times. Two. Okay. Well, that didn't work. shake. Oh, I think I'm supposed to shake it this way. <laughs> Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. We're starting to get ink flow. It's probably not what you're supposed to do. Oh, golly. That is like awesome. Look at how consistent and even that is. Oh, golly, that is beautiful. You just... Look at how even and it's, like, shiny and there's no gaps. Oh, that is beautiful. That's awesome. All right, so that's the black. Next we have this one, which I think is white. I'm assuming it's white. It, it looks white. Er, wrong. So much garbage. I need to really take care of all that. Okay. Alright. One, two, three, four. Not really seeing much yet. But then again, it's white, so. Oh, darn it. I got that little black. Oops. Maybe because it's first use, I need to shake it more. Ah. Such an epic video. This is black paper now. Oh yeah. 
Oh, that's so cool. Just look at how crisp and clean and even that is. Honestly, I'm tempted to do all of the graffiti on this. But I don't know if that's so cool. Alright. So now we know. Put these next to each other. The black and the white look like. Let's try out the other colors. I think I, I think I finally got this down, how to do this. And I think, because you store them with the tip up, so I think eventually it'll become less, like the ink will go away. It'll suck back into the marker. <laughs> Maybe not enough shake. I'm thinking because it's the first time you actually have to do it like 10 times. No, I mean <laughs> 40 times. But at the same time, maybe my shaking's not scientific enough. There we go, starting to get some action. This is kind of a boring video to watch. But if you are into like sounds, that are highly annoying. We're making progress. I bet because it's bigger, it's harder. Maybe I should actually like look more at the instructions they do there's like flat on so there we go oh that's so cool I'm like so in love this is exactly everything I've wanted to buy for so long, but I just, I wanted to try it out before, like, really spending a lot of money on it, because these things are kind of expensive. I mean, this box was only, it was like 17 euros plus shipping, but, because I live in America, it's slightly more. Shaking, 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 shaking. I was like, I'm getting the hang of this. Proceeds to not make it work. Hey, if any of you guys know how to really use these well, totally drop a comment about how to use them. Looking for advice any time. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh. I'm just geeking out so hard here. All right, we have one more. And I guess we could try out the pencil too, but. Oh wait, I forgot, it might have different instructions. Well, it has uh, no instructions on it, so. I'm gonna assume it's the same-ish. Not there yet. This one sounds different. Oh, this is so cool. All right, best purchase I've ever made. Ten out of ten. I guess just to make it complete. Yep, solid, normal, great eraser. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do an awesome artwork with my new favorite four markers. Oh my goodness. Next paycheck I might be, 
I might be buying all of these boys. Oh, I wish I had more money. Because <laughs> then I would spend like all on art supplies. And like, you don't need to have a ton of money to make good art. But when there's a specific look you're going for, like how even these textures are and no gaps and no like, weird bumps, then you kind of have to get what you're looking for. And usually that's kind of more expensive. But I'm going to go ahead and do an artwork. I think I'm going to try to do it on the black paper and do like accents in the white. But I'm just... And the, I mean in the black, but I'm so excited. All right, I'll go ahead and time lapse it and we'll see how it turns out. It's not gonna be anything amazing because I only have like a half hour, maybe, maybe less. I have a bio exam tomorrow or when I upload this, it would've been yesterday, but anyway, so I should probably study for that, but I can make art instead. So I'm gonna jump in. Thanks for stopping by and see you after the time lapse.